Right, welcome. So this is going to be a full course on link building, how you can build backlinks for SEO. And if you stick around till the end, I'm gonna give you access to this sheet that allows you to build all these backlinks for free, DA89, uh, DA43, Trustflow48, DR82, so all these backlinks for free, plus some pretty cool bonuses, okay? But I'll give you the link for this at the end. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do, every single thing in detail to learn how to build backlinks and how to build backlinks for your business, all right? So. Let's get it. First things first, what are backlinks, why they're important, and what are good backlinks? So first things first, right, why backlinks? Actually, before that, what's a backlink? Essentially, if this is your site, right, this is your site, right, and this is Forbes, and you have an article that talks about cats, and Forbes has an article that talks about cats, they link to you, this is a backlink, right? Okay, pretty simple, a backlink is a link from another site to yours, okay? That's a backlink, okay? Now, why backlinks? Backlinks are without a doubt, a ranking factor, meaning the more backlinks you have, the higher you rank on Google. Now, there's a lot of nuance to it, which I'll cover in detail here, but that's the basis, okay? The more backlinks you have, the higher you rank on Google. Now, you need quality and relevant backlinks, okay? The ideal backlink, again, is one that's coming from a high quality source, okay? So for, for example, Forbes, not a blogger or blog spot, right? And relevant as well, right? You want links coming from relevant sources. For example, if you have a site about motorcycles, you want quality backlinks from motorcycle related sites, okay? Relevancy plays a big part, okay? Not just the quality of the link, but the relevancy too, okay? And backlinks essentially increase trust and relevance in Google's eyes, that's why you rank higher on Google. Because if Google says, okay, this website is getting a ton of links, ton of mentions on Forbes, on Huffington Post, and on TechCrunch, it must mean that they are doing something right, right? Backlinks convey trust, and that's why you rank higher on Google when you build backlinks. Pretty simple. Now, I won't dive too deep right now into the anchor text, but essentially the anchor text is, and I'll dive deep, trust me, into this, is on a post, right? You have a post written, right? A blog post. One of the words that you can click to go to the other site, that's called the anchor text, right? There's a couple types of anchor text. There's naked URLs, which is just your URL, right? Different versions of it. There's branded anchors, which is your business name, okay? In capital letters or not. There's exact, ma exact match anchors, which is the exact anchor text or the exact keyword you wanna rank for, for example, Plumber Dallas, and partial match or long tailed versions of your keywords, which is uh, find a quality plumber in Dallas, okay? There's also um, generic, which is click here, learn more, visit our site, but I'll dive deep into this after. This is just an introduction, okay? Now, linking structure, why? Actually, let's go here, okay? To the second thing. Um, link building, structure, and types of links. This is very important because there's a bunch of types of link links and I want to go over every single one of them because it's super important that you understand what the type of links are and how to place each one of them. Super important. But first, link building structure, okay? So what is this, okay? Let's say this is your site, right? Most sites are built like this. Uh, that there's a home page, there's a couple of services page, there's a contact page, maybe there's a blog page, and maybe there's some product pages, right? No. Ideally, most backlinks should come to your home page, right? Why? Because it's simply the most natural thing, right? When someone's linking out to a site, most times they link out to the home page, right? And this is a great way to see if a site is spammy or if they're buying backlinks, is most links don't come to the home page, right? They come to other pages, but most links should come to the homepage because that's what, that's the most natural thing to do, the most natural thing to happen, okay? So you'll notice most links come to the homepage. Now, because of that, you wanna make sure that the homepage interlinks with the pages you wanna rank. Because most times, the internal pages will outrank the homepage for your keywords. Because again, in specific different pages, you can target different keywords. So again, most likely the pages that are gonna rank for you are these right here, not the homepage. Now, it's not to say that the homepage cannot rank, it absolutely can, but most times it won't, or most times these will outrank them. So it's very important that you interlink the homepage with the pages you wanna rank so that the, let's call it link juice, flows through. So that when someone's linking out here, the link juice flows through to all of these pages. Think of it as like uh, water. Now again, these are called internal links because they're linking internally within your site. They need to make sense, right? You wouldn't link the contacts page with, uh, I don't know, the terms and conditions page, right? You wouldn't link the blog page with, right? It, it needs to make sense. The internal linking isn't something random. It needs to make sense. And I have a couple of videos on that, but I want to dive deep into that right now, right? It needs to make sense. And again, 
the linking structure is important because you got to structure this in a way that when you build backlinks to the homepage, it flows through these pages. When you build backlinks to this page right here, maybe this interlink, right? So the link juice will go from this one and not just stay on this one, will flow through to this one, okay? So it's important, again, figure out an internal linking strategy that makes sense so that when you actually build backlinks, you get the most out of the link juice, okay? Super, super important. Now, here, big one, quality link types, okay? I mean, quality, I mean, no PBNs. A PBN stands for private blog network. Even though these work very, very well, some people are averse to it and people don't want to really do it. There's a, this is like a black hat, techie, uh, black hat SEO technique. Web to put in as well, uh, other not Google friendly links. I mean, these can be quality and I'll show you how to build them because this is going to be a full tutorial. I'll show you how to build these links because the reality is that they work. And if you build them the way that I'm going to teach you, you can build them to be quality. But most people often think that these are not quality. Just, just bear that in mind, okay? So what are quality links, right? Let's call these natural links as well. These are, for example, citation links. For example, if you're a local business, right? A citation link is essentially a link from a business directory. Let's call it Yelp, Foursquare, Bing, Yellow Pages, Hot Frog. So again, if you have a site and you wanna build backlinks to it, let's say you're a local plumber or a plastic surgery clinic in New York City, right? You, one type of backlink that you can build and you should be building is a citation-based link. Now. These are great because they help you build um, local relevancy and local authority. For example, a link from Yelp, a Yelp page is, if you've ever seen one, a, a Yelp page has your business photo, business name, business website, all the business contact information, some business description, and of course, a link to your site. So this listing is hyper targeted to what your business is, right? It tells people what your name is, all your contact information, your site, what you do. Also, of course, it gets indexed in Google, and it's coming from a very, very authoritative domain. Yelp, right? Yelp is one of the most authoritative domains out there. Um, so you want to make sure you list your website here, right? Again, citation, very powerful, okay? Uh, then the social media profiles, I and mean, these are all backlinks you need to be creating, right? Your brand, whether you're a plumber, whether you're a software company, it doesn't matter what you are. If you're a brand, you need to have presence on social media. That's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, a fully branded and optimized uh, accounts. And that's important because one of the Google ranking factors is your presence on social media, right? Because if Google sees that, okay, this brand is, has all these social media profiles, they're getting likes, they're getting engagement because you are posting on those profiles, they're gonna think, okay, so these guys are actually active on social media, that's very important, right? Let's boost them a bit, right? They, Google used to be just about links and all that, but now it's more about social, right? Because people are on social media. And if people interact, and if you have these properties on social media, it's, it is seen as a good signal for Google. Now, these need, of course, to be fully branded with your logo, descriptions. I won't dive too deep on how to do it because it's got obvious, right? Fully branded, logos, images, links, all that. And you can use this to automatically syndicate. So, for example, let's say you post something on Facebook, you can syndicate it to LinkedIn, right? You can sort of automate your social media um, uh, strategy, but I won't dive too deep into this. Just know that you can do it. And also interlink, right? You want to make sure that you interlink their properties. So, from, from YouTube, maybe you link out on your YouTube homepage to Twitter and Facebook. Same thing goes for this, right? You interlink them in a way that makes sense, just like as if you were to interlink these pages, okay? Important. Now, then we have press releases. Um, here's an example. I'll go over a quick example here. This, for example, is a press release coming from this site, right? Essentially, it is a news piece. They oftentimes have links, okay? This is a press release. Essentially, just know that a press release is a link on a news website, okay? And oftentimes, you can buy press release blasts, blast, sorry, which essentially will put a news about your brand, about your business, and syndicate it to over 100, 200, uh, news outlets, okay? If you want to know how to get this done, uh, if you go to vetted.com, V-E-T-T-T-E-D, that's, that used to be my SEO marketplace, you can, there's a couple of people there that can do it for you, okay? Um, what you should be doing, you should be maximizing these, so you should embed the maps, add images, add your keywords in the titles, add service areas, add keywords in the text, link to your website, of course, and link to trustworthy sources. This ties in with on-page SEO, which I won't dive to the, into this right now, I have a couple of videos on this, right? A video, I have actually full courses solely on off on page SEO, right? And off page SEO too. But just know that with any link you build, right? Any content you put out, whether that's on your site or off your site, right? You need to make sure it's optimized, right? So that's important. Then this is a strategy that will dive deep into this course, right? How to essentially build the same links that your competition has. Because the, the idea here is that if you can look at all the links your competitors have, right? Look at all them categorize them all and make a list of the best links. You replicate all the links they have, right? You do the same. And then on top of that, build some more. Your link build, your link profile will look better than theirs. And in theory, you'll upgrade them. 
Now, there's a couple of uh, cool links, which are, for example, very powerful links, in fact, uh, links from local sponsorship links or, or charities. And the way you find these, I'll, I'll leave a link down below for all these prompts because there's a bunch of these search prompts. For example, if I do this, right, in URL, sponsorship, NYC, right, I can find places where, or websites that allow me to pay them to be a sponsor for their site and show up in their domain, whether at most times it is as, as like a footer logo. Let me see here, sponsorship here, let me see. Okay, so I can join to be a sponsor here and most of the times the sponsors show up here in the footer or show up top or show up a dedicated sponsorship page. And oftentimes this is valuable because these sites that accept sponsorships, their domains are super, super strong. And again, like I said before, right, you wanna get links from quality domains, okay, which mean powerful domains and of course relevant backlinks now. This is important and you should be building this out. And again, I have a video solely on this on how to build these links in specific. I'll link it down below. If I forget, please remind me. Now, guest posts, same thing. I have a video solely on this on how to build guest posts and niche edits. Again, my goal here is not to like go over exactly in de de detail how to build this. I have videos solely on that. I'll link, link them down below. But essentially to find uh, links for guest posting. And if you don't know, guest post essentially is where you reach out to a website owner and tell them, listen, uh, I want to I want to put a, a link on my on your site to mine, right? And they go out on their site, they write a new blog post with a link and a link back to yours, okay? Niche edits are where instead of them writing a new blog post, they place a link to your site on an old blog post, okay? This is very cool and I'll show you here a quick way in where you can find these. We could just type this here and in URL right for us and your niche, right? It can be anything you want here. Literally, it can be your niche, okay? You just type in lawyer just because and you go through these and for example, let's see here, lawyer source, right for us. Okay, so this is a site that is both authoritative. Let me see here if I can check the domain metrics. Uh, let's see here, the DR43. Yeah, so it's a decent domain, decently powerful domain and they allow you to write for them, okay? Write for us, guest post submissions, okay? Guest post must be at a uh, thousand words, must have an image, no double click because we have a certain set of criteria, just email them and uh, I actually have a bunch of <laughs> search prompts here. Just email them, pay them, and then you have a guest post link, right? But again, if you want a more detailed video on this, solely on building these types of links and these ones, again, I have a video solely on this, which I'll link down below. If I forget, just let me know, okay? Now, you're gonna notice that links have tags. And if I go here, for example, let's just do, actually, I'll show you here in this, actually, I'll show you here this, for example, if I just do this inspect element right here, this is a do follow link, okay? If you were to be a no follow link, you would have a real equals no follow tag, okay? Now, no follow links, right? Uh, Wikipedia has no follow links. Uh, Facebook gives you no follow links. And th there isn't an issue particularly in them being no follow, right? It is not bad, right? Because links from Wikipedia are good, links from Facebook are good, right? You're getting your brand name out there in Google values that. You're building up brand authority. so. If you can have a link on Wikipedia, which is nofollow, it's still available, right? Even though being nofollow means that the link juice will not flow through, it is still available mentioning all of your brand online. So don't think that you just need to build do follow links. You don't. You need to have, have sorry, a healthy mix of do follow and nofollow. Very, very important. Okay. Now, I mentioned PBN links. Uh, I'll mention them again in, in, in a second here. But you have to watch these three videos if you want to build PBN networks. Right. This is a video on how to build a PBN network, the whole network, plus finding domains, how to find expired domains, how to build out the sites. I think it's a almost 30 minute video on how to do that. Do PBN links still work? This is a case study showing you that I built links, PBN links to my sites and they ranked, not just me, multiple people, and how to build a PBN site that actually looks real. Okay. These three videos are very, very important. I'll link them down below in the description because if you want a proper uh, link building strategy, we shall go over here on how to do it. Right. PBN links play a part in it and you need to know how to build them. So go watch these videos after this one. Okay. Very, very, very important. Right. Now, moving on. Uh, more isn't necessarily better, right? More links doesn't mean higher rankings. And like I said before, you want to focus on quality and relevancy. And of course, if you have can if you can have a high volume of quality and relevancy, the better, right? But more links don't necessarily mean better. For example, Look at this, right? These links are absolute trash. And if you're in the SEO space, in the marketing space, I'm sure you've gotten these emails from these link building gurus sending you these lists with amazing domains, with amazing traffic. This is all bot traffic. Um, these metrics are all inflated, right? All these sites are absolute trash, right? Absolute trash. And I'll show you an example here. And it, the quickest way to find if they're good or not is to just open one of them. This is one of them, right? 
And at first glance, okay, this, this seems decent. Let me just check the metrics here. Uh, okay, the R52, amazing, okay. Uh, uh, traffic 67 is not really that good, but yeah, it's a decent domain, I guess. I wouldn't refuse the backlink from this site. But when you dive deep, you actually find that this and all these ones are link farms, right? What that, what link farm is, essentially, they have all the niches available, right? So they can sell as many links to as many people as possible. So they can just email blast all the whole world and tell you, listen, I have this site where I can place your link in. It accepts your niche, accepts health, loan, lifestyle. So, so it is essentially a link farm. So all these links right here are paid for, right? You can just click here and see that this is all paid for. And of course, it should be linked here to someone else's website, right? Of course, it makes sense. But again, the thing here is that you can you can tell that this is, is, is all fake, right? It's all fake. They have all the niches available. The site doesn't even have real social media. Yeah, there's no social media. The contacts probably is a fake email or there's not even contact. Okay, there's a fake this, uh, form right here, right? This is all fake. And this is a fake site, a fake PBN. And I do not want you to build stuff like this. This is a big mistake. It's very, very big red flag. So watch this video right here if you want to learn how to actually build PBN links and how to make them look real. Because to make them look real, real, you have to have not, firstly, not have the, all the niches available. Because that's the biggest red flag. Make sure it's safe, right? Make sure to have branding, have social media, active social media link to it, right? And essentially have a real site going on. Because this is bad and don't ever build links from people that send you these links this lists, because you might think, okay, amazing, I'm just gonna buy all of these, I'm gonna rank first. And this is where the quality over quantity comes in. These links are very bad and these metrics are all inflated, and even if they were real, right? Even if this were all real, the traffic were real, and these were real, you just look at the site and see, okay, this, this is absolutely trash. Okay, so don't go for these ones. Okay, go for guest posts and niche edits, which I'll show you how to build later on, and I'll have videos on this that as well, okay? Now, biggest one right here, strategies to acquiring backlinks. There's three. You can copy, you can do organic, you can buy. Now, organic is essentially the hardest one, which is basically telling you that, okay, build out quality content, build out a quality site, quality posts, and if the content is amazing, eventually people will link out to you. Now, that can happen, but it takes a long, long time, and it is uh, hard, okay? So this, don't go for this one. I mean, you can, but I, I won't recommend. Second one is buy. This is by far the easiest one. You can you can buy quality links on marketplaces for people that actually evaluate your site and then do exactly what I'm gonna do here, right? So the strategy I'm gonna show you here in the copy is what people do here. So if you don't wanna waste time doing the, the copy strategy, just pay someone to do the copy strategy for you. Now, what is the copy strategy? Essentially, you go out, you find your competitors and you look for what backlinks they have and you replicate the backlinks they have. Now this seems simple, it is quite simple, it's not, it's not easy because it takes some time, but you can have this strategy done by someone else, that's why you can buy these links. But let me give you an actual example here. So if I go here and just type in um, rhinoplasty in Texas, okay? And I just go here and I say, this is my competitor, right? Let's do this one, it's my competitor. Let's say this is my competitor. Just copy that link, I pasted it in Ahrefs, Okay, and what I do is I simply go to uh, da, 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 backlinks, okay? And now I gotta have a, a critical mindset, I gotta have critical thinking and see, okay, out of all these backlinks, because I don't wanna replicate these ones, right? This is a bad backlink, comes, actually, no, sorry. This is a bad backlink, right? Zero DR, zero UR almost, comes from a blog spot. Surely it is a spammy link, right? This surely is a spammy link, yeah. I mean, this it's not a good link, right? You can tell. So. What I want to do is I want to go through the, their best backlinks list and try to see which ones I can replicate. For example, WebMD, amazing backlink, right? DR92, right? It is no follow, doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter because it is coming from an authority uh, media place in the marketplace, okay? So if I can, I'm going to see, okay, can I list my website here, right? This looks like a directory, most likely I can. Okay, well, list your practice, easy. Right, I just replicated this backlink. And you go through the list and you go through all these links and see, okay, are these ones, which ones are the good ones that I can replicate, okay? Now, it is it does take time, it does take a ton of time and effort, but essentially you can pay someone to do it for you. There's all people out there that just do this for a living, that take your site, evaluate how uh, the competitors backlinks and build the same backlinks they have, and also some more on top, right? Because again, the, goal, the whole goal of this is to build all the ones they have and then build some more on top of that, right? And the, and the some more you can build, are, uh, let's see here, are niche edits and press releases 
guest posts and PBN links, right? These are very, very, very powerful backlinks and there's a bunch more stuff right here, but I'll, I'll go over that in a second here, okay? So strategies regarding, so strategies regarding link is either copy, just like I showed you, organic, which I won't, I don't really recommend, or just buy, which is the, in my opinion, the highest ROI because you don't lose time doing it and just pay someone to do it for you and you see results. Now, big thing, before you actually build the backlinks, you have to figure out the rotation of the anchor text. What this means is simply this, right? This is just a rule of thumb. This is what I usually do. So for anchor text, again, which is the little text you click to go to the, the site, you should have at least 70% branded anchors, 20% naked URL anchors, 5% generic, that's the click here, learn more, find out more, uh, less than 5% partial match anchors, and less than 1% um, exact match anchors. Now, again, this is just a rule of thumb, and the way I have built this is to make it look as natural as possible. Because if you just have 100% of exact match anchors, which, for example, let's say, uh, Plumber Dallas, Plumber Dallas, Plumber Dallas, Dallas, Plumber Dallas, like, which is the keyword you want to rank for, is going to arise a lot of suspicion from Google. And they're going to see, okay, these guys are just buying backlinks with exact match anchors, we're just gonna penalize them, okay? So don't do that, right? You wanna play it safe, that's why I do this. Again, you don't have to follow these numbers by by the exact, but you sort of follow this to some extent, right? The highest here, lowest here, okay? As you're, here's an example, for example, for this site, uh, main keyword is Plumber Dallas, right? Branded anchors would be uh, Baker Brothers Plumbing, which is the name of the brand right here, right? Same thing with capitalized B, right? All caps, right? The uh, name of the company, space company. So you can build out. Doesn't the the brand of anchors doesn't just have to be the name of the company. It can be all of these ones. So you gotta be a little bit creative, right? Because again, you don't want to also build all your brand of anchors to be the exact same. So because that won't look natural. So give it a spin, give it a twirl. You can even just use ChatGPT to help out with this. So yeah. Then naked anchors again doesn't just need to be the URL. It can be the URL without the HTTPS or with it. Um, so yeah. That, that plays in mind. Generic anchors could be click here to learn more, visit our site, uh, see our services. I mean, there's endless. Partial match here in this case are, is our long tail. Plumber in Dallas, best plumber in Dallas, number one plumber Dallas, plumber company in Dallas, plumber, okay, you understand? And exact match, exact, the exact keyword you want to rank for. So in this case, people I mean, looking for a plumber, really don't, they, don't, they don't really type plumber in Dallas. They mostly just, they just have this just type Plumber Dallas, right? Don't really type the in. So that's that. So again, this is just a quick overview of how to actually choose the anchors and the levels at which you should be building it, okay? Um, now, where do you actually use each anchor? This is very important, is like this, right? For branded anchors, you wanna go for links from social media, right? The most you can. For naked URL anchors, go for foundation links, which I'll go over what they are in a second here, uh, and web to windows. For generic anchors, go for guest posts, EDU links, golf links, press releases. Okay, for partial match anchors, go for regular PBN links. Okay, for exact match anchors, go for heavy hitters, PBN links, right? Niche edits, big boy links like guest posts. And why is it done like this? Because these links right here are the most powerful ones, right? These are the least powerful ones. And these are the most powerful ones. So the thing is that your most valuable anchors are the exact match anchors. So we don't want to, don't want to quote unquote waste them in low powerful links, right? So if you want to, if you, if you need to build exact match anchors, you want to leave them and save them for the most powerful type of links, niche edits, right? Because what happen is, if you are doing this the inverse way, you're just going to be again, get, uh, wasting your quota of actual anchors that get your rankings, the exact match and the partial matches. Okay, so do it like this. Otherwise, you're just going to be spending some money and time. Okay, that's very important. Now, moving on to figuring out what keywords you want to rank for. This is the, one of the most important things. You want to go for high BI keywords. Now, what it is, is, is the following. So, and I've given this example uh, a lot of times, but I want to give it again. Let's say my business is an iPhone repair shop. Okay, I have a real life shop that repairs iPhones, right? Let me just do this a bit better, okay? And I have people coming into the store, right? They, they I have my website, right? And people come into, sorry, come into the website, they come into the website and then they go to the store and have me repair their iPhones. Now, people can come into the website by searching on Google for uh, how to repair an iPhone, right? They can come in by that. Or they can come in because my site also ranks for where to repair an iPhone or how much does it cost to repair an iPhone. Now, this keyword, how to repair an iPhone, let's say it has 10,000 searches a month. While these two, where or how much does it cost, I only have, let's say, 1K. Now, it might seem smart to, okay, let me just target this one, right? Much more searches, more or less the same niche, right? 
people want to uh, want to learn how to repair, I just repair it for them. It is not smart to target this because someone searching for how to repair an iPhone, we can assume that most likely they want to do it themselves. While someone searching for where or how much does it cost to repair an iPhone, we can assume that most likely they want to pay someone to do, the, to do it for them. So we go for here, we go for high buying intent keywords. And a exercise you can do is you can draw this matrix where in the Y axis we have BI, which is buying intent, and in the X axis we have traffic and also competition. And you do a list of keywords, you list all your keywords and then you place them here. And you do not go for keywords here nor here. Why? Because these have low buying intent and low traffic and these have low buying intent, high traffic. So not only these keywords here, not only they are hard to rank for because it's high traffic, high competition, they also have low buying intent. So you might be ranking first, but you're not getting actually any paid leads from it. You want to go for the people here, keywords here and here. They have high buying intent, low traffic or high buying intent, high traffic. Ideally these ones because they are easiest ones to rank for, low competition, high buying intent, and then these ones, okay? And this is a very important exercise because you don't want to be targeting the wrong keywords. And this ties into all this because the keywords you want to target are also the keywords you're using your anchor texts. Okay, so this is very important. Don't waste time going for keywords here and here because you're just going to be wasting your time, right? With this example, applies to any single business, in any single niche in any language, right? This exercise, I suggest you do it for your business to figure out, okay, out of all the keywords I want to rank for, which of them have high buying intent? Then list the keywords, right? Draw the matrix and place them here, wherever you feel like they, they fit the best and target the ones in these two quadrants high, high buying intent is where you want to go for, okay? So very, very, very important. Now, links, you should be building to a new site, right? Where, what type of links should the new site be getting, right? And I call these foundation links, okay? Now, the main goal is, is to build a strong foundation for what's to come. What's to come meaning more powerful links, right? And also, you can use this to diversify your anchor text rotations. Now, the goal of these links is to build, again, a foundation. Tell Google, okay, we have some sort of presence online. Some sites are linking for, uh, to us. We have a couple of brand mentions here and there on these lower profile sites. Most of these links are created on free sites, right? Article submission links, uh, free press release distribution sites, PDF blog sites, free web 2.0 blog posts like Tumblr, Weebly, right? All these free uh, places, social media bookmarks, video sharing sites like uh, YouTube, right? The video on YouTube with a link in the description to your site, Vimeo, right? Daily Motion, classified ad links, image sharing links, social media posting links, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, right? All these are free links, director submissions. For example, if you're a local business on Yelp, Foursquare, all those, right? These are free links you can build. These build out the, the foundation of the pyramid for what's to come on top, right? This gives you the initial boost, the initial brand mentions, the initial, um, you tell, essentially you're telling, telling Google, okay, we are here, we are this brand, and we are starting to be mentioned online. We are starting to be mentioned on social media. We are starting to get links being pointed out to us. And this you can do manually or you can just pay someone to do it for you. But again, this is the very first links I build to any client site, okay? Foundation links, very important. Now, let's break down a, a link building strategy that goes way beyond the, the foundation links, right? So this is what I do and this is what works, okay? So this is your money site, the site you want to rank for, right? And the goal here is to have a diverse link building strategy. Not just use PBN links, not just use guest posts, not just any sites, use all the things you can. And there's more stuff here, okay? Now, PBN links. This is one of the most powerful links you, you, you can do, right? And this is a par plus relevant links. Now, you can pay someone to, to PBN stands for private blog network. By the way, if you don't know what this is, is essentially a network of blogs, right? These are all individual blogs, right? Owned by the same guy. So that's a network, right? And ideally, these network of sites, they're all under the same niche. So these are all, for example, health blogs, all health blogs, health, health. So this is a PBN in the health niche. And this is a very, very powerful asset because you can just point these all these sites, right, to a site you want to rank in the health niche and it's just gonna skyrocket. Now there's a couple of nuances here on how to build the PBN network. So the PBN, sorry, so go watch the video I mentioned before, because you don't wanna have them all on the same hosting. You don't wanna interlink them. There's a lot of nuance here on how to build a proper PBN and proper blog network. So make sure to watch uh, this video right here. Very, very important. It's gonna be the first link probably in the description. So watch that if you wanna build a proper PBN or I mean, you can just pay someone to place your link on their network. The issue is that because, because you're paying them, other people can also pay them. So most likely 
you're going to be uh, diluted a bit, but you can do it. Okay, so PBN links, very important. Now, then guest posts. Again, this is where you do outreach and find sites in your niche that might want accept payment to link out to your, right? To create a new blog post on their site about your niche, about your whatever it is, and link out to your site. Now, these are expensive, just like niche edits are expensive, but they're a great link, right? And the reason why they're expensive and the reason why they're good is because Unlike foundation links, which are free, which anyone can build, not anyone can build guest posts, okay? Just like not anyone can build PBN links, okay? So important here. And again, I'll have a video on, on how to build guest posts in detail. I'll link it down below. Again, if I forget, let me know. Press release links. This is where you essentially push your brand name out there, right? You get more eyeballs on your brand because again, these press release links are posted to uh, Yahoo Finance, right? Bloomberg, all these authoritative news networks, right? This is ex expensive, by the way, but it's, it is worth it. So you get more eyeballs and you get more clicks. Then you also get link juice because, again, you're getting links to all these 400 news outlets, okay? Maybe more. And also increase your brand awareness because your brand is going to be mentioned on all these news outlets. And news outlets tend to be authoritative authoritative in Google's eyes, okay? Yahoo Finance, for example, if you get a, mention, a brand mentioned there, which you can via press releases, it is a good way to, again, grow your brand online, which nowadays SEO is mostly about brand. That's why we have to have a presence on, presence on social media as well, not just uh, be inside the search engine. We have to have a presence on all these social media platforms, which is why brand is very important. Because if you're building a business, you want to build it on a brand. Okay, so PR, press release, very important. Foundation links, I already explained this, right? The main goal is to build a strong foundation for what's to come and diversify your anchor text rotation. For example, let's say you build a ton of PBN links and you are a bit off on here, right? You're a bit off on here. Let's say you have, for example, 50% partial matches, which is quite high. What you can do to dilute this, you just buy a couple of foundation links or build a couple of foundation links, 100 links right here, and have them be... Um, generic or naked URL or uh, branded mention, branded anchors, and you can dilute the, the anchors from the PBN link. So you can do that as well, right? You can leverage and use this to dilute your anchors, okay? Then niche edits, again, it's one of the most powerful links you can get because like I said before, a niche edit differs from, the get, from a guest post in the sense that a guest post, again, is a new link on a new post posted on the site. A niche edit is a link posted on an old post on that site. So it's a post that's already indexed in Google, already has some trust, already has some power, and they're updating the post and linking to your site, right? So again, power plus relevancy, manually done, and on site to real traffic. That's what you want to strive for, okay? Big one right here. Now, again, you can keep on going with this. And depending on your niche, you might want to do it. Tier two link building, linking out to your PBNs, which then link out to your money site, linking out to your guest posts, linking out to all these platforms. And again, some people even do tier three, which I think it's a bit overkill, but you can do it to build up this pyramid, which funnels, everything funnels to your money site, okay? What I usually like to do is build different types of links. For example, EDU links, right? Goal is to increase the main authority because um, usually when you have links from EDU or Gov links linking out to your site, you're the A, the A increase. Now, domain authority, all these metrics right here are all essentially created by Ahrefs and all these tools. They can easily be manipulated, but when I speak about domain authority, I'm not necessarily speaking about um, this number right here. I'm speaking about the authority in Google's eyes, okay, which is important. Um, so then novelty links, you can build links from Reddit, Amazon, Telegram, which is all those do follow. And oftentimes these are links that your competitors don't have. So it allows you to diversify your link profile compared to what they have, which is also good. Okay. Let's say for example, you think I just, I built so many PBNs already. I built so many, I built so many guest posts. I want to diversify a bit. Go for this, go for these types of links, right? It's very important. You can also build QA links. This is a great, great way to send organic and target traffic to your site as well as link juice. I have a video again solely on this, on this same YouTube channel. Search for Quora and you'll find it. Essentially the, the tactic, tactic here, sorry, is to go on Quora, right? Quora is a Q&A site. Find relevant questions from people in your niche, right? Asking questions about your product or service or just as a whole about your niche. Go there with a optimized profile, a an aged profile, comment on those questions with a proper answer and carefully leave a link to your site. Okay, this takes time, takes effort, but it is possible. I'll get, I'll leave a link down below for this video as well. If I forget, let me know, but it is a very powerful way to get organic target traffic to your site. But again, you need to have, you need to make sure that the account that comments on these questions is old account, aged account with authority, right? Because if you just do this with uh, 
new accounts and just leave, be leaving links right here. Accounts are going to get banned. So yeah, just going to waste time. Then you can do Google stacking. Again, I'll leave a link down below for this video. Again, this is just another way to leverage. In this case, you're going to leverage Google's own properties to build links to your site. So essentially, you're getting links from Google itself to your site. You can also do what it's called entity stacking, which is uh, essentially building links from all these cloud platforms, from Microsoft Cloud, Amazon, all these powerful links right here, IBM, even Google's cloud, interlink this all in the way that makes sense. And at the same time, they all link to your site. These are a bit more advanced um, tactics. Again, there's videos on this exact channel on how to do this step-by-step, step, how to do this step-by-step, step, how to do this step-by-step, step, how to do this step-by-step. Step. There's links, again, videos on the channel for every single one of these right here. There's a video on this channel on how to do it step-by-step. Step. So let's say you wanna build EDU links. Go watch the video that tells you exactly how to do it. I'll go over exactly how to find the links and how to actually place uh, your link on there. Same thing for all these. So don't just, I don't, I don't wanna be fully generic here, but I cannot record like a huge video, specific, uh, specifically when I've recorded already videos solely on this. But again, if you wanna learn exactly how to build every one of these types of links individually, there's videos on our channel on how to do it. And if I forget, I hope not, I'll link them down below in the description so you can go out and build them for you. And if you don't wanna do it yourself, you can just hire someone like a VA to watch the video and build them out for you. You can also do that and it maybe saves you some time. Okay, moving on um, to the, I guess the how and why you should leverage AI for SEO. Now, you know as much as I do that SEO has three main pillars, right? We have the off-page SEO, which is essentially what I just went over here, which is link building, right? We have technical SEO, which is schema markup, uh, meta tags, uh, all that boring technical on-site stuff like site speed and all that. And then we have on-page SEO, which is essentially the content that's on your site, right? It's the blog posts, right? And the reality is that with AI, you can essentially automate this or automate a lot of this, right? Right, Off-page SEO, it's hard to automate, at least as of now. Technical, kind of, not the, the easiest one, but you can automate on-page SEO. And what I mean by this, the reason why you can automate on-page SEO is you can have software, you can have AI, and also, I mean, full disclosure, this is my software. I, wanna, I, wanna, I don't want to sell you on it, but I want to show you what it does. You don't even need to use it. You can use something else, but I want to show you something, right? If I go here and just type in, for example, garden, or like this, I can just open this one right here. And this is all done with AI. And the time it saves me, because I don't have to hire a content writer, a researcher, it does all the all for me. I just give it the, the title, gives me the image, gives me the table of contents, the content structure with the in-article images. There's even links to other pages on the site, external links linking out to authoritative sources in the niche, bullet tables, quotes. There's even uh, videos that are relevant, right, to what the content is about vertical farming, and this is an article about tips for starting a garden. So all this done with AI, which would have taken me so much time before, right? Sourcing the images, sourcing the links, figuring out, okay, where in the article do I, I want to add links, right? And now where do I want to link to, both for internal links and external links? Sourcing the images, placing them here, then figuring out what videos I want to add, right? Then, because I can just skim through this and I can just click post to my site, post to my site one by one, or I can just click here, post all, and all six will be posted to my site. This says integration, by the way, because integrations can be um, all these. I can just post straight to WordPress, Shopify, GoSpeaks, Webblogger, or Zapier, or XML API. But like I said, this this before took so much time. And I oftentimes like to give this analogy, which if we draw like a staircase, right? Before, with, with SEO, right? Before AI, we used to, let's call the top step right here, money, success, right? Before AI, I used to have to do the keyword research manually, right? then generate the content based off of the keywords. Then, okay, once I have the content, I have to figure out, okay, where am I gonna add the images to, right? Sourcing the images, sourcing the videos, sourcing the internal links, the external links, posting it to my site. There's a bunch more steps actually right here. It's syndicating with social media, right? This took so much time. And the reality is that with, with AI, because you gotta think about AI as a, as a technology, I can just skip ahead of line and have AI do all this for me, right? Because think about AI as a, as a wrench, right? As a tool you can leverage to do stuff more, stuff faster. For example, I can like tighten up a bolt with my hand or I can just use a wrench. It is way faster, I can do it um, better, right? And AI is the same thing. Think about AI as a tool you can leverage to do more faster. And the reality is that you can just skip out of line, right? While all the people are doing it all manually, you just do it all with one click. And this tool right here, again, you don't need to use it, but you can, not only has the Q research embedded here, so you just add your site right here, uh, as such, at your country, at your language, it will give you a list of keywords that you can target, right? With the monthly searches and the difficulty, you can just 
pick these ones and have the AI generate keywords, uh, generate articles based off of these keywords, right? There's also auto blogs which you can have set up so the it runs on the back end. Essentially, it produces and publishes however many articles you want every single month, week, day, 12 or six hours. So most people just do this Monday through Friday, five articles a week. But essentially what this does, you, you connect the AI with your site, this is your website, and it does the keyword research, right? Then it generates content, that's a G, based off of the keywords. Then it automatically publishes the content to your site. It also indexes the content to your site. Just go here to set up an indexer. We automatically, automatically, sorry, index the content on Google. And also once every single post is posted to your site, you can automatically link your social media so that the content is automatically syndicated to your LinkedIn, to your Facebook, to your Twitter, which is now called X. So we can automate all of this, right, with AI. Again, you can do all this manually for sure, but it takes so much time. And the people that are gonna leverage and they use this AI technology will skip out of the line and will get ahead because they can do it faster, right? It is pretty cool. It also does some pretty cool things. If you go here to the knowledge base, you can connect your site, your brand with the AI. And your brand essentially is made out of assets, right? Your website is an asset, your LinkedIn is an asset, your Facebook page is an asset, even some text documents or audio documents, right? These are all brand assets, okay? And what you do is you connect the AI with your brand. And now because it has the whole context of your brand, it's able to produce brand tailored content using your own brand's images, your brand's mannerisms, your brand's tone of voice, essentially, essentially, sorry, uh, non-blend AI content. So it's pretty, pretty powerful. And to use this, just go here to generate articles and fill all this in. This is the input you have to give to the AI, right? How many articles you want? Let's say, for example, I want 300 articles. Bam. Do I want videos in the articles? Yes. Do I want images? Yes. What type of images do I want? Do I want AI images? Do I want these images? Do I want links, external links? Do I want internal links? Do I want the call to action? Do I want uh, all these sections? Do I want to connect this to the web so that the content is up to date? Do I want the content to be in English or in other languages? Creativity levels, tone of voice, point of view, formality, custom instructions. You can even include your own keywords here. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here. I won't dive too deep into this because I have videos on, on that if you want to learn more about it. Just know that you can essentially automate your uh, on-page SEO, not all, but most of it with AI. So with these three pillars, you have off-page, which is what this video is about. Then you have technical SEO, which I have also a free course on this. It's a video here on, on my YouTube channel, exactly how to do it. And you can do on-page manually, or you can automate most of it with AI. Again, instead of going all this episode steps one by one by one, just use AI, leverage this, this amazing technology to skip ahead of line. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. Again, I'll leave a link down below for this right here this sheet where you can build all these backlinks for free. They're all also indexed and a bunch of bonus, a bunch of courses, my A to Z SEO course, my local SEO course, my AI SEO course, my programmatic SEO course, and a link to this tool that essentially that I just show you that does keyword research, generates the content for you, automatically publishes it, automatically indexes it on Google, automatically syndicates to social media. And you can use this code secret 10 for 10% off. Now I know I'm speaking a, a very fast, but I want to try and pack as much value to this as I can. If at any point yeah, you didn't understand th something, Sorry, comment down below and I'll, I'll try to clarify that. Again, go watch these videos. It's very, very, very important if you do want to build PBL links and if you do want to start a link building strategy. Hopefully this was valuable. Let me know down in the comments below what you want to see more because I just want to provide valuable content for free and teach you guys how I do SEO and how you can do it too. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.